Welcome to Highline Excel 2013 class video number 36. Hey, if you want to download this workbook for week seven, click on the link below the video or go to our class website. Hey, we got to talk about the Excel filter feature for extracting records. And we want to remind ourselves about the difference between AND and OR criteria. Now let's scroll down here. We have a data set. And our goal in our first example is to extract all the records where the product is equal to quad. Now we could sort. So I could come here, right click the single cell in the product field, A to Z sort, scroll down, find the quads. Notice this is a small data set. For a big data set, that would be hard to do. Highlight. Copy, come over to P filter and paste. Right? Oh, and we didn't get the field names. Control Z, Control Z. A much better way if you're extracting records based on criteria, either a single criteria or multiple criteria, is to use the filter feature. Now, there's fancy array formulas for extracting records and there's advanced filter, but the filter feature is usually the fastest and easiest way to go. Now, how do we turn on the filter? Well, first, we have a proper data set. Field names in the first row, records in subsequent rows, empty cells all the way around. Click in a single cell. There's a filter button in the sort and filter group. Now watch. When I turn the drop downs, we can then filter using these drop downs. But notice when I click it, it's a toggle. Toggle on and off. Now, if you hover your cursor, what's the keyboard shortcut? Control Shift L. Now, if you don't like Control Shift L, like it's hard to remember, how about Data Filter? Can you remember that? There's an old keyboard shortcut. Click in a single cell and it's Alt DFF. Alt DFF is a toggle also. So Alt D for Data, FF for Filter. All right, so we have our drop downs now. Let's compare this to sort. I simply come here, uncheck, quad, click OK. Notice I had already selected one cell, so now I use the keyboard Control asterisk. Now I use, that highlights the whole table. Now I use Control C and watch this. Unlike subtotal, Control C on a filter group completely grabs the visible cells only. Remember when we did subtotal, it was a hassle because we had to remember to highlight visible cells only before we copied. But now the dancing ants are going around all the different visible records. I come over to P filter, I click in the cell, Control V. That is fast and easy filter for extracting records. Now let's come back over here. Hey, how do I know that the records are filtered? Well, look, the row headers are blue. There's also missing numbers, 23, 28. There's also a filter icon on our dropdown. Now, how do we turn off the filter? You can come and use clear filter, escape. You can use clear filter up here. But check this out. Here's a cheating way to turn off the filter. And this way is really good if you have multiple filters. Just use your keyboard or come up here, boop, boop. Let me put that on again and just show you. So Control Shift L or Alt DFF. And so you do it and then do it again. So every time you have a filter and you want to clear it, Control Shift L L. Whenever you turn off the filter and turn it back on, it clears the filters. All right, now we want to talk about AND and OR criteria. We've done this many times already in this class, so we're just reminding ourselves. AND criteria means we have multiple criteria, and all tests must be true in order for the record to be extracted. OR criteria means we could have many criteria, many tests, but at least one must get a true. If they're all false, then we don't extract the records. All right, let's start with date between criteria. What we want to do is from this column extract only the records from 1.5 to 1.20. So check this out, drop down. And on each one of the drop downs, there's a special filter. Because there's dates in this column, it has a date filter. And there's all sorts of amazing dates here. Now we're going to use between. And 
Here's our custom auto filter dialog box. Is after or equal to? That's the early date. Is before or equal to? That's the later date. So I'm going to put 1 slash 5 slash 2011. Tab, tab, tab a bunch of times. 1 slash 20 slash 2011. When I click OK, both criteria. Notice this is two criteria. Both have to get trues. Now watch this. Before I click the OK button, there's two criteria. Each one of these criteria are being applied to a single cell. So that 1, 6, we're asking the question, are you greater than or equal to 1, 5? True. Are you less than or equal to 120? True. So because we got two trues, boom, that record is extracted. Click OK. Control asterisk. The dancing ants are going. I come over to P filter, click Control down arrow, and then scroll down a little bit, and Control V. So I've extracted my records based on and, or a more specific and criteria, between criteria. All right, watch this. Control Shift L, L. I love that. That's the toggle to turn on and off the filters to clear the filter. Now let's talk about a different filter. I want to see quad or Carlota. So now I'm going to click the drop down and just use my check boxes. This will be or criteria. So Carlota or quad. The question, when I click OK, the question is asked of each item, are you quad or are you Carlota? All it needs is one true for the record to be extracted. Control asterisk, Control C, Control down arrow. Control V. All right, now how about Control Shift L L to turn off the filter and turn it back on to clear the filter. Now, what if we want to see Galt sales rep in the east? Well, now I'm going to be applying two criteria to two different columns. Here we did it to two criteria to each cell in the column, and it was and. Here we did it two criteria to each cell, but it was or. Now we do and. It means we want Galt and east. It has to get true, true. We simply use our check boxes. Galt, OK. All the Galts are showing. Now we want to eliminate everything, all the regions except for east. Control asterisk. Oh, it's already highlighted. Control C. And then I paste it wherever I want. Control down arrow. Absolutely beautiful. Now I'm going to come over here. Control Shift L L to clear the filter. Now I actually want to go look at a, a specialized text filter. I want to go over to Filter T. Now I want to turn on the toggle. Control Shift L. And I want to search for 50. 15th lane. Now these are addresses. So I need to do what's called a contain search. I want to find this text string, but only find the subtext string 15th lane. Now there's a few ways we can do this. In earlier versions, we go text. Actually, this wasn't in earlier versions, but you'd go to contains. And then you type in 15th lane. And then click OK. And instantly it would filter. But watch this Control Shift L L. There's a new feature, I think since 2010, search. If I type 15, watch what happens. Wow, it's isolated and only showing me text strings that contain 15. Now I'm going to type TH. Wow, instantly I have the lanes, avenues, space, and an L, and instantly. I have my 15th lane. Click OK. So that's searching on text. Now I'm going to Control Shift L to turn that off. And I want to go back over to Filter. A couple more filters. We have dates, text. We also can get numbers. And there's some specialized number filters. There it is, number filters. Whoa, there's a bunch of good ones here. But down on the bottom, top 10, above average, below average, we want top. Six. So I'm going to click Top 10, adjust down to 6. Notice we could do the bottom. And wow, check this out. You can do percent, the top 6%. All right, I'm going to select Items, click OK. Control Asterisk, it's already highlighted. Control C, Paste Filter, Control V. That is amazing. Instantly, I've extracted the records for top 6 sales. All right, let's go back over here. 
Control Shift L. Now that's filter. We did and criteria on the same column, or criteria on the same column, and criteria on different columns, and even two examples with a single condition. Now we want to look at one last example with one condition. If you remember sort by color, we can do filter by color. Control Shift L. The rows down below, there's a couple that are red, so I can pick any particular field. Filter by color. And it sees that red, and instantly it brings all the red to the top. All right. Control Shift L to unfilter. And we want to go over to the sheet tables and remind ourselves whoop, on the table sheet about the table feature and slicers for filtering. Control T will convert this to an Excel table. As long as we have a proper data set, field names at the top, records and rows, and empty cells all the way around. Control T. Click OK. Now we have an official Excel table. Now remember, the benefits are if we have formulas or charts or pivot tables pointing to any of the columns as we add new records, everything will update and see the new records. But here, we want to see that, of course, when we do the table feature, we have these great drop downs with sorting and filtering. Now, what we'd like to do here is add a filter. Oh, wait a second. A fancy filter, a slicer for racer and for track. So with the table selected, I go up to Table Tools, Design. There's Insert Slicer. And I'm going to check Racer and Track. Then click OK. Now we can move these, resize these, and change the colors from our Slicer Tools option. I'm going to point to the, the edge here. That's a little bit more efficient than doing both the bottom and the side. Drag it over here. Broop. Select a different color. And now we can filter with our slicers. Ezariah, there's all the races. Zane, Isaac. And then I can further filter. Ah, two filters. This is and, right? It had to look through the racer column and find Isaac. And it had to go through the track column and find CTAC. Control asterisk, Control C. Oh, it works just the same. I come over here and Control V. Let's go back to tables. We can unfilter. Boop, boop. Now we have a whole data set. Escape to turn the dancing ants off. Now, while we're looking at a table and slicers, I want to show you a cool keyboard. We are using two criteria from two columns to extract records. But of course, earlier in the class, we did lots of two criteria calculations. So we can add to the bottom of a table a total row. Now, you could click in the table, go up to Table Tools Design, and check the total row. If we do that, we'll see it adds the calculation to the rightmost column. I don't want to do that. So I want to come up here and uncheck it. And I would like time seconds. I'd like to show the min. So the fastest time will show up based on whatever criteria I select. And here's the keyboard. Normally, Alt equals works for auto sum. But if you're below a table, Alt equals puts the total row in. And F2 puts our subtotal function in. Now, I don't want this one, so I'm going to come over here and say None. And for this one, I'm going to use my awesome Total Row dropdown and select Min. And now I have the Min. Now I can apply criteria. Ezariah, the fastest time was 40. Zane, 37. Isaac at Sumner, well, there's only one. How about CTAC? Each time, I'm doing a calculation from the Total Row based on two criteria. Now. What happens if you have a total row and you add a new record? No problem. Click in the last cell and use Tab, but not when you're filtered. Escape. Come over here. We're going to have our data ribbon open and clear. And now when I come to the last cell and hit Tab, no problem. We'll add our record. And the position uh, was the place was 2. Now when I come up and Isaac Sumner, the new record. 
is totally included, I can do extraction or use the total row with my slicers. All right, so in this video, we talked about filtering to extract records and 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 OR criteria. In next video, we'll talk all about advanced filter. All right, see you next video.